Hello and welcome to the short vort on Vezosa Bracha and Bereshis. So in Vezosa Bracha, in Ravi, so that's Perak Lamed Gimel, Pasuk Yud Ches, it says, L'zvulun Amar, Samach Zvulun B'Tzeisecha, V'Yisacha Ba'olecha. And to Zvulun he said that Zvulun should rejoice when you go out and Yisacha in your tents. That there's a famous relationship that Zvulun supported Yisachar by being a businessman going out in the merchant marine and with their financial success they supported and allowed Yisachar to have the luxury to sit and learn in a full day in the tent. So Reb Shimon Schwab in Sefer Mayan Besa Shoeva, so he asked why does it say Zvulun Amar but it doesn't say Yisachar Amar. So he answers that because these two of their famous partnership the giving a bracha to one was like giving the bracha to the second, and it did not have to be mentioned. But since Yisachar uh, was the supporter, even though he was younger, he still had his name mentioned first. Zvulun uh, Yisachar Yisachar Ba'olacha. That is because you see they supported Torah. That was more considered more important. Uh, if we go into the Sefer Mayana Shel Torah. Uh, it quotes a source, Kanfe Nisharm, I don't know uh, who that is, but it goes back to the same Pasuk, and it says, that Zvulun at the beginning, they're going to be sad because they can't learn Torah full time, they have to go out to business. Uh, but eventually, when it comes to the El Mabo, when they see the reward for the Torah that they supported, and they get their share, then they're going to re- rejoice. And that's why it says, when you go out. This world you won't rejoice as much, but later on you'll get your reward and you'll be happy for it. However, in contrast, Yisachah, that right now is happy in its tent and it's it be able to be supported, but uh, later on when they see the reward they gave up by having this, not, this easy support, they will regret it, and therefore their simcha is Balecha, now in their tent, and not so much later on. And we're going to see if we can connect the uh, Aholacha of this uh, Ravi of Zosa Bracha to Hamishi in Bereshus. And also we're going to try to answer, uh, we'll give an answer for one version of who uh, the wife of Noah was. So now if we can turn to Bereshus in Hamishi is in Perak Dal and Pasuk Yud Tes. So it talks about Yikach Lamach Shnei Nashim Shem Achas Eidav Shem Atzei Shein Sila. He took two wives, and then talks about their their descendants, uh, Yaval and Yuval and and Tuvalkayin and his sister Naama. Uh, so Naama, as an answer to the riddle of who was Noah's wife, because she was so pleasant in her mitzvahs, she was in her midos that she was Zocha to merit to be saved during the flood as the wife of Noah. Uh, but if we go back into this Parsha, so the Kli Yucker tells us, why is it really important uh, to have these details given to us? What's the lesson? And he says the lesson is the, is the importance of choosing the right Shidduch, that you have to choose a be married, marry someone for the right reason, the right motivation, and if, and if you do, then you'll be Zoha. To have proper children, but if Chasur Shalom you don't, then Chasur Shalom there's a risk that uh, your children would not be uh, going on the proper derech. And he sh- and uses this uh, few these few psukim as a confirmation of this, because so at the t- Rashi says at the time uh, early on people would take multiple wives. One would be for procreation, and one would be for pleasure. The one that was for procreation, she was. The purpose was her purpose. They took care. Of, she took care of the kids, but she was put out of the limelight and not so taken care of. Uh, in contrast, the one that was for sexual gratification, so she was all dressed up beautifully and taken care of, and she was even given a potion that would make her an akara, make her barren. However, in this case, uh, not only did did uh, the proper wife Ada, who was her procreation uh, have children but there was a vigam that also uh, Sila gave birth, there was an oops well, she wasn't supposed to have a child and we'll see what happened here, so we list the two, the children we have Yaval, he was Avi Yoshev Ohel Umikna 
So he was a herdsman who was lived in a tent, and there that was an honorable profession. And I can connect that back to Vizosa Bracha, that Yisachar was the Olacha, and Yaakovinu is uh, Ishtam Yoshev Ohel. So in that respect, we can interpret that that this was a good and proper son. And Yuval, so he was the Avi called Tofesh Kina Ugav. He was the uh, first to make musical instruments, which eventually were used in places such as the base of Mikdash for proper purposes. So again, an honorable profession, according to the Kliyaka. But, so that was for the wife who was uh, meant for procreation, and that's a good reason to marry someone. But Sila was meant for the pleasure and gratification, so she had Tuvalkai, and what did he do? He was Lotes Kolchoris Nechoshes of Barzel. He was the first weapons producer, the weapons manufacturer. That's not a good profession. So that's what happens when you have the wrong motivations, you have the wrong type of, of children. Maybe we Zohar when we... Uh, when we look or in Shaduchim to have the right Shaduch and, and have the right relationship and we have the right Kavanos and be Zilcha to build Bate Neman be Yisrael. I hope you enjoy uh, Sukkis and Vizos uh, Bracha and and Voracious and look forward to uh, Hamishi to Shishi uh, in the next cycle of 5774. Thank you for listening.